Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky as always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the game vault and I got like a new cloak on because that last planet was so cold. Hopefully this will keep my mental frame nice and warm moving forward, but in any case, what we're going to do today is take on a Dreadnought Freighter. I'm going to show you how to take one down very, very, very fast. What to do, what not to do. Another quick video, but first, let's cue up the music so we can get right to it. First and foremost, you are going to want this weapon right here, the Infra Knife Accelerator. As you can see, my peak damage potential is 75,000 with this. Yes, you can get it higher, um, you know, depending on how you have things set up. I do have, uh, what, three supercharged slots on it, so it's pretty powerful, man. Um, but I'm sure with a little finagling, we could probably get some more out of it, depending on how I do things. But in any case, this is going to work right now, so I'm quite happy with it. And that's the main thing. Everything else, you know, you're going to want something that's maneuverable. You're going to want a little bit of, you know, shield just in case, uh, you know, you start taking some damage and whatnot. But pure DPS is the way to go with this thing. So we're going to exit the anomaly. And I'm going to go find one of these uh, big freighter battles. All right, so here we are in a freighter battle. We're in a Gex system. It is a pirate system, and we're immediately going to head over to the actual pirate dreadnought, get in, get inside of his shields. So you'll be able to tell when you get close to him, you get that little yellow distortion on the screen, and take out all the engines in rapid succession. This will keep it from being able to get away from you, okay? Next thing you're going to want to do is get up top here, and take out these cannons. Got to get close again. Just like before, get inside the uh, shielding. Now they're launching missiles. You can go chase those missiles if you want. I never bother. And it doesn't seem to matter. Because by the time those missiles are going to be doing any sort of serious damage, I've taken out the freighter. But I do like to take out these cannons real quick. Those are done. And you got two trenches. These two trenches, you're going to want to go in there and... Uh, I'm going to divert power to weapons to make them a little bit stronger. Now, go slow here because a power core is going to pop up. I think we got it. But destroying that power core will deal more damage. And as you can see, we're able to kill several of these in a row and get their fuel cores or whatever they're called as they pop up. See? are popping up slowly. They got lots of other stuff going on, little little mini turrets shooting at us and stuff like that. Again, we're ignoring them. And here's the second trench. We're going to head on in and get to work on these shield generators. All right. As you can see, we've dealt a lot of damage to this thing. Now we're just going to deal some more. Dreadnought's defeated. Just like that in no time. Boom. Everything's good to go. So now, if you have... And look at that. This is what's really cool. This is a new way to get S-Class, and ever since the update, only S-Class salvage fleet module. So you don't have to do those derelict freighters anymore and find that special system to farm those things. All you got to do is complete one of these and you'll get an S-Class module for your freighter, which is absolutely fantastic. Just another way to do it. You can still go ahead and farm them if you want and do those derelict freighters, but I have a feeling they're going to be kind of obsolete from now on. Now, another cool thing is you'll see these frigates here. These are pirate frigates. You're going to be able to recruit these if you have room in your frigate fleet after you defeat the dreadnought you know and they're kind of cool looking they're a little different i don't have room so i can't re uh, recruit any right now but you know if you don't have room you'll be able to do it so you won't have to fly around looking for frigates as much as you'll have a batch of these available to you now 
again, this was a pirate system. That seems to be the only place these spawn in. We're going to go try and get another one real quick. Just to see if we could do it back to back. I'm not sure if there's a time limit yet. I haven't done enough research on it yet. Let me know down in the comments if you know. Like, I don't know if it's like the regular freighter battles where you have to wait a certain amount of time and warp a certain amount of times but we're gonna go to another system and I'll see you there and here we are back to back a second battle going on right away so there is no time limit and there is no number of warps that you have to do um, I don't know if this happens in every system you come into but I just got it back to back so that's cool as hell and we'll just go through and do it again one more time same method Engines are instantly destroyed. Ignore the missiles and gotta get on top of this thing, right? Or underneath it. Oh, I got I got turned around there for a second. There they are. Let's get inside and get these cannons taken care of. I think there's like five or six of these things on there. That's two, three. Four. There's five. Don't worry about getting in close on them. We're going to up our weapons again. Divert power. You should do that probably ahead of time if you want. There we go. There's another cannon down. Let's hit the trenches again real quick. Kind of getting this one from the wrong angle, but that's okay. We'll just flip it around. There you go, the core popped up. You can see the core clearly there at that time. Give me that core. There it goes. And another one. You can see we're taking a decent amount of damage there, but not anything horrible. Come up into the other trench here. And we'll just finish this puppy right off. Now I got my little fleet surrounding me, my squadron. I don't know, they're really not doing that much damage. They never seem to really inflict that much damage. I think they're there more for the look of things. That's kind of cool. That's two for two, man. Boom. And I'll show you again. We'll get another uh, salvage freighter thingy. A little... Freighter uh, upgrade, boom, fuel unit that time. Two for two on the S's. It always drops its S now, so that is just absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, so if you found this video useful at all, entertaining or helpful, please leave a like on it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. This has been another No Man's Sky video. I'll see you next time. Let's just admire that wreckage for a few seconds. All right, until then, peace. <laughs>